Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick and today is Monday and if you know anything about me, I do not like Mondays. And why? Because I tend to lose on Mondays. So I've just taken a loss. Um, it was expected. I knew it was a possibility. But the worst thing is, well, I'll get to that. Let's stick around, stick around to the end of the video. I'll tell you what happened, what I could have done better and what I will do in future, how to improve on this, okay? So hopefully this is beneficial for you to seeing what happens when you take a loss and how to react to it after, okay? So if it is, you know what to do, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I keep getting these videos out to you, okay? So we're on the Euro, USD here. Let's just zoom out on the daily. You see we had a trend down, it reversed there, and we're trending up. Had a little reverse here, pull down, had a reversal there, pulled out, had a reversal here, pulled out. So if you've been following, you know already. This high here, we called it from this supply zone here. And I said I wanted to see it from this high. I think it was Tuesday or last week or so. I can't remember. From this high, come down to at least this low here. Okay? So let's just zoom in again. So from this high here, there was a reversal pattern. I said I wanted to see it come down to this low. So it pushed it all the way down on, up onto that low here on Friday. So I expected then Monday to put in a, uh, give me some price action, give me an entry to take it down. Yeah. As you can see, it's what happened. But unfortunately, the market doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really play that way okay so let's just zoom out again and I'll show you what I saw on the actual day and you can see what happened why I got I ended up taking a loss okay so this is this is Friday okay so Friday's lows so it took this reversal here I caught this move by the way I didn't well, I recorded it but I didn't post it because um, there was too much noise in the background too much interference so trending up Reverse here comes out, enter there, and that's the scalp. Okay, so this is Friday's lows, and from Friday lows it started trending up. Okay, so the way I initially read it was that we are lows and it was trending up. Okay, so there's a low, there's a higher low here, there's a higher low here, and so on. Okay, we are trending up. We got to this point here, and it pulled up and broke structure. So it broke that low there. So I expect it to pull up here again and break the low again which it did unfortunately i misread it okay so the way i read it was that once it had pulled down here and it pulled back up here that was my entry to try and drive it down and break this low remember my bias was for it to go down to a certain point from here i was expecting it to get down to this point here because we had the reverse on the higher time frame and that this mark this price entry is where i expected a bounce from okay so i expected price to be driven down here and if it's going to start becoming bullish bounce from there and go up again okay so at this point at this point here when it came back up here yeah i expected it to be sold again to try to get it down from there and as you can see it did get down there but it didn't do it where and when i wanted so my stop loss would have been just above this high here okay so it pull down flags up pull down i expected it to flag up again and pull out again okay that's what i expected that's my normal setup we have a little trend coming up a break in structure here and it drives down and it's in line with what's going on in the higher time frame to get down to this point here so that was my move okay that would have been my tp ideally but um, you know me, I like to scalp, I would have just scalped it underneath here. So my entry was based on a one-to-one. -one. Let's get over here. So that's my high. This is the breaking structure here. So from this range to this high here, that's my entry. So my, en uh, uh, um, that's my risk, sorry. It's about 10 pips. So my entry was roughly here. Let's just have a look, trade history. Uh, where is it gone? Well, I can't even see it. So, uh, my entry was roughly here, okay, and I was trying to get it to drive down further. So, I wasn't actually, actually, no, to like my entry was up here because it, I saw this late because it was before my session, I, uh, before I woke up. So, I got in roughly there and I had started taking it down to TP. So, my entry. 
Wait, so here we go. My entry was there. <laughs> so my entry was there. So I saw the breaking structure here. I saw price around here. So when it got up here, I had entered here and I was trying to get it to beat this low and I was going for 10 pips from this point here. So that would have been, actually it was at 15. I was going for 10 pips. It was at 25, my entry. So roughly 25.5. My entry was, the, 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 where is it? Okay. My entry would have been there. Yeah. Let's get trade history. It must be there. There you go. My entry was there. Okay. Right. So I expected it to uh, pull up here, get in there, and then drive down to beat this. And I only wanted 10 pips from there. Okay. So I got about 6 pips. It turned around and beat the side. So at this point here, I thought, oh, it looks like it's breaking structure because it ran up, pulled down, ran up. So I thought at this point here, I was going to lose. Remember, my stop loss is just there. So it did pull back in and break structure and it beat me my stop loss and took me out. OK, so let's look at why it did that. So I said to myself, that was a real possibility. I knew that getting in. And um, if you've been following, you know, I like to trade intraday and I need like to trade the reversal of the current price action so the current price action based on the ASA session was actually coming down not up because I, I initially based it off this and I had a higher time frame bias okay but the intraday price action from the ASA session was coming down so here's the a pole there's a flag here's another pole so it's coming down so if I had stuck to what's been working <laughs> which is trading the intraday reversals, I would have saw at this point that here, at this point, this failed to break this low to continue its downtrend. And in fact, it pulled up here. So this is what I wanted to do. Once it beat me, once it came and did this, I thought I was going to get stopped out, but I didn't um, close the move. I wanted to wait and see to see if I would get this drive down regardless. It came down here and it went up. When it came here, I was thinking about closing my position and buying this, okay? And as you can see, that's what I should have done, okay? Why? Even though price is down there, that's what I should have done. Why? Because from this high here to this low, that would have been my range. That would have been nine pips. If I had entered there at that same point where I would normally enter, would I have got nine pips? Yes, I would have got 20 pips, okay? So I would have got two to one before this drop. This drop was based on a news catalyst. So it would have gone two to one. And that's normally how I scalp. But because I was looking at the higher time frame, I was basing my bias on what was going on there, which was right, but I got stopped out first. So that's what happened. That's what I could have done. And <laughs> at the same time, I was right in the first place. So as you can see, on Mondays, it's very choppy. It's very hard to read. It's very manipulative. There's so many reasons for what happened that happened but the easiest simplest reason is to run these stop losses okay this uh, frankfurt pushed this up run these stop losses then took it down my stop loss was initially there i did adjust it to try to pull it up there and it would have got stopped out anyway and at this point i knew that so i got out anyway and took the loss it was maybe a 15 pip loss no it was less than that 12 pip loss it was so I was okay with that. I said it's better to cut this loss and wait for the next move, which is what I did. And I was able to make that uh, loss back. Okay. So learning from this, I am going to stick to what works. I'm looking at intraday trades based on the price action on that given day. Okay. You can see on the higher time frame I was right. But this is what happens. We just need to remember this happens a lot in the market. For someone to be able to make money, someone needs to lose money. And that was what this move was. Okay, This was just a drive to take everyone out here from the Asian session. Because that's what I was thinking initially. Where is the money? Okay, And the uh, Asian session hadn't moved much. So the money was above this high. So at this point I thought, okay, I was going to get stopped there. And I did. Okay, So... What can we do now? Well, I'm in a trade right now, actually, which is playing out here. And I want it to get to um, well, roughly here for TP, okay? So 
what could we do now? We just sit around and wait for the next setup, okay? My next setup is based on the price action. I think I might just take this TP. Let me just check, see if it's decent. At, at 10 o'clock, I'm expecting, so it's just turned 10 now. I'm expecting this to drive up to try to clean up some of this imbalance that I created. If it just gets up to here, that's TP for me anyway. Or I might just call it a day because I already made back the loss. So anyway, so we can expect things like this to happen in the market. We need to manage our risk accordingly and hopefully, you know, we don't take such a big, a, a massive loss that it affects us and uh, prevents us from trading the next day or it cycles us into revenge trading and, you know, doing something even worse, okay? So, um, that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this loss. Hopefully this stops messing around that this doesn't become a second loss. <laughs> uh, but that was the loss. That was what I could have done. And as you can see, regardless, I would have, you know, I would have lost there. I would have lost there. I could have lost there. This is Mondays, okay? I hate Mondays and this is why, okay? So in the future, reference, uh, uh, what I can learn from this situation is just to, you know, stick to what works. Read the price section, this was the move, it fell to break here and we went a book structured there. So when it comes back here, buy there and take there. Okay. So what the other thing you need to remember is if we zoom out again, this is why it was such a 50-50 trade. If you zoom out, right? So we've been trending up. We've been trending up from this point here. We got here and put a reversal so I'm, it's trending down now okay but it's come to a key area where price could bounce up from or it could continue going down so that's why it's such a 50 50 uh, thing based on a higher time frame so on the low time frame i was looking for something to give me a clear indication because from this low here it could went up to these highs and from these highs stronger sellers will come in and drive it down to those this price point which is what i'm expecting or even down here even further okay so it's such a 50 50 trade and that's why i went to a lower time frame to see what was going on i saw what was, i thought was going on it played me it went both directions and i lost the trade okay expect it don't over leverage manage your risk prepare to take the loss and have a plan b okay so what works for you works for you stick to it what works for me was this price action, which is what I read. I should have ignored what was going on based on the previous session and I should have just read what was going on currently when I was looking at price and I would have caught that move. So that's what I'm gonna to try to stick to in the future. So simple as read what's in front of you, take the scalp. Remember we're scalping, we're not swing trading, we're not holding long moves, we're scalping. So a scalp would have been that move there. And it was clear when this did not beat this low, it broke that structure two times, creating equal highs. There's triple highs there, one, two, three. That's where the money is. So when this pulled back here, that's the money, okay? So following the banks to grab the money in this situation before they went down to continue the higher time frame trend, which was to push it further down, okay? So that's, that's as simple as it should have been. It wasn't the case today. That was Monday. It was a 50-50 trade. I ended up losing it. Okay. So people, I'm going to be away for, um, I might be a bit distance in the uploads because the kids are off uh, summer school and I won't have as much time as I usually have to post. I will still be trading. And when I do, if I got examples for you, I will then post it. This is a very good example I wanted to show you. So I was able to post it today. I may not be able to do so through the week. If you want to stay updated, see more examples, hit the subscribe button so you are notified when I release the videos. Okay. All right. This is Patrick signing out and on to next time. Peace.